Hello, everyone. So we are back to the research methodology class. I hope whatever I have discussed till now is clear to you. And, and I can see that you have attempted the questions that I, I was asking in the classes. Um, it's also true that few of you may uh, might not have got time to answer them. But still, uh, my suggestion is that go through those questions. And uh, any doubt, any questions there, then you can put it. No problem. I'll attempt, I will respond to your comments. So let's come to today's class. And today's class is about um, what do you mean by research design? And what are the steps involved in a research design? And what we exactly mean by good research or good research design? Also, we'll discuss that what is the difference between research methods and uh, research design. So without wasting time, let's uh, discuss today's class. Let me share the screen. I hope my voice is coming properly. Okay. My screen is visible here? Yes. Okay, good. So meaning of research design. Now, what actually we mean by a research design? Research design is the conceptual structure within which research is conducted. It constitutes the blueprint for the collection, measurement, and analysis of data. So yes, uh, research design, actually we are talking about a kind of conceptual structure. Whenever we got the term design, then that is related to our um, the, the way we how we actually think right it's a kind of conceptual that's why research design is also a conceptual structure within which that within that design that research will be conducted we'll see that what actually it constitutes of but for a while now you remember that this research design constitutes the blueprint for the collection measurement and analysis of data. First, collection of data, measurement of data, then analysis of data with respect to the methodology that you have proposed. As such, the design includes an outline of what the researcher will do from writing the hypothesis and its operational implications to the final analysis of data. When I said that you have to make an assumption, and that assumption we call it as a hypothesis. So, ये डिजाइन एक प्रकार का आउटलाइन है दिस इज अ काइंड ऑफ आउटलाइन के रिसर्चर्स कैसे वो हाइपोथेसिस एज्यूम करने से मतलब राइट एज्यूम किया आपने लिखा वो हाइपोथेसिस उसके बाद उसको कैसे ऑपरेशन किया ऑपरेशनल इंप्लीमेंटेशन किया और लास्ट तक एनालिसिस के फेज तक ये रिसर्च डिजाइन इंक्लूड होगा और जिससे आप ये भी पता लगाओगे कि वेदर यू वट एवर द Hypothesis you have assumed is uh, turned out to be true or false. I hope you got it. So just remember that this research design is a kind of outline, and within that outline, you will conduct whole of your research work. Now, if we uh, means try to uh, uh, focus on the steps, if I, we try to put light on the steps, then these steps which are included in the research design are. These are what I have just highlighted. See, first, what is the study about? Then why is the study being made? Where will, be the, where the, will the study be carried out? What type of data is required? Where can the required data be found? What periods of time will that study include? What will be the sample design? What techniques of data collection will be used? How will the data be analyzed? And in what style? Will the report be prepared? That is thesis, right? So, yeah, research design may hum kya se include karte hai ke jo bhi hum study kar rahe hai. Either it can be a theoretical study, it can be an empirical study. Abhi tak to aap loko pata hai ke different types of research hai. We have already discussed about the type. I hope that you have not already forgot it. Huh? So, if you please go through the previous lecture if you face any doubt. So, ye study kis ke upar hai? और हम क्यों शादी करें वाई इज द शादी बींग मेड और कहा ये शादी करेंगे वर्ल्ड शादी बी केयर आउट 
देन किस टाइप का डेटा चाहिए होगा और ये डेटा जो चाहिए होगा हम कहाँ से लेंगे राइट एंड देन कितना पीरियड ऑफ टाइम वॉट पीरियड ऑफ टाइम विल बी रिक्वर टू कंडक्ट दैट स्टडी देन वॉट विल बी द सैम्पल डिजाइन राइट then you know now i also talk about the samples maybe we are not considering the whole data set we are considering the samples right and different types of sampling techniques also exist then uh, what techniques of data collection that you are going to use then how will be the data analysis and what style in what style the report will be prepared right that report is the main thing that we call as a thesis report right so आपका जो लास्ट में आपका जो आउटकम निकलेंगे जो पीएचडी थेसिस है तो वो क्या है एक प्रकार का रिपोर्ट है वट एवर द स्टडी वट एवर द रिसर्च वर्क दैट यू हैव कंडक्टेड तो आई होप नाउ इट इज क्लियर टू यू दैट व्हाट आर द स्टेप्स इंक्लूड इन ए रिसर्च डिजाइन एंड व्हाट एग्जैक्टली वी मीन बाय रिसर्च डिजाइन लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक फ्यूचर्स ऑफ ए गुड डिजाइन गुड डिजाइन और गुड रिसर्च डिजाइन हम इसको बोलते हैं exactly wo design uh means the, see uh, for the same problem many uh, researchers are conducting their research work on that particular problem yes the approaches may be different now thing is that after the whole research work will be done because you are not the one you are not only the one in the, on the globe that who is singly hand uh, means uh, only person who is conducting the research on that particular problem to bahut sare aur bhi log honge jo aapke jaise research kar rahe hain right this particular topic mein isi tarah aapne kuch research design kiya aapka outcome thesis aaya usi tarah aapka kuch research papers aaya to same problem ke liye bahut sare log uh, usme research kiya research paper aaya aur baad mein thesis hai to hame exactly kisko good research bolna hai obviously that will be a good research which is under the framework of a good research design and good research design means those steps that i have discussed just um, just before in the, the first slide i think those all the steps are included and properly gone through if, if that, that that design includes every this each of these are steps and minutely done on efficiently done and then only we'll call it as a good research design so a research design appropriate for a particular research problem usually involves the factors like esr factors hona se the means of obtaining information the availability and skills of the researcher and his staff obviously aapke jo skill hai aapka jo analyzing power hai uske upar ek uh, रिसर्च गुड रिसर्च होगा या बेड रिसर्च होगा बहुत डिपेंड करेंगे आपका पेशेंस लेवल के ऊपर आपका कॉन्स्टेंट और आप क्या बोल सकते हो कॉन्सिस्टेंसी के ऊपर भी आपका रिसर्च वर्क कैसा होगा ठीक है एक्चुअली दिस अभी ऐसा लगेगा कि दिस आर नॉट पार्ट ऑफ माय रिसर्च वर्क वाइस आर इज टेलिंग लाइक दैट बट सी दिस इज द बिगिनिंग लेवल ऑफ ए ऑफ योर पी रिसर्च वर्क वेन यू आर डूइंग ए रेगुलर पी वर्क यूल सी दैट the patience level also very important and the consistency is also very uh, important if you want to have a good research outcome theek hai ye hona sahi aap me kyu hona sahi ye aap baad mein aap khud hi samajh lenge theek hai don't ask me you will understand it i just want to motivate you okay now the means of obtaining information the availability and skills of the researcher and his staff then objective of the problem to be studies objective bahut zyada important hai theek hai aap jab abhi synopsis submit karoge to aap wahan pe mention karoge objectives kya hai right then the nature of the problem to be studies and the availability of time and money for the research work ki aapne itna bada ek research problem le liya जो आप फाइव आवर्स ड्यूरेशन में नहीं कर पाए ठीक है एक साल और एक्सटेंड कर लिया सिक्स इयर्स में नहीं कर पाए बट आप एक्सटेंड करते ही जाओगे तो वो क्या हो पाएगा रिसर्च वो नहीं सो so, आपको आपके रिसर्च प्रॉब्लम चूज करते वक्त ये सारे चीजों को भी ध्यान रखना है देन मनी तो यू नो दैट द इकोनॉमिक ऑलवेज मैटर्स ए लॉट 
in terms in case of the research good research work right but mere khayal se to sabse pehle jo sada important hai wo hai ki aap ye jo outline hai isko properly maintain karo aur aapke interest kya hai wo bhi sabse zyada important hai so now i have told you that what actually a good research design and good research work and what are the things that should be uh, means that should be in a good research design right i hope this is clear to you now i want to show, show you some figures and some other topics uh, that 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 i think will be important for you so you can see now see in a research design elements of research design ye iska aap screenshot bhi le sakte ho kya hai purpose statements techniques methodology objection shaping timeline measurement analysis method so these are the elements of a research design then uh characteristics of research design mein kya hona chahiye what do you understand by characteristics characteristics ka matlab ye hai us particular research design mein aisa kya kya important factors hona chahiye right kya kya important property hona chahiye right so characteristics of research design means that should be uh, that should maintaining these things like neutrality reliability validity and generalization i'm repeating again neutrality reliability validity and generalization theek hai these are the characteristics of a research design likh lena ye copy mein theek hai then next thing is that research method versus research design research methods are the procedures that will be used to collect that and analyze the data while research design is the overall structure of the research so research method to hum wo sare procedures ko bolte hain jiske zariye hum kya kar rahe hain डेटा कलेक्ट करके एनालाइज कर रहे हैं बट रिसर्च डिजाइन में पूरा आउटलाइन को हम बता रहे हैं राइट देन रिसर्च मेथड्स फोकस ऑन व्हाट टाइप्स ऑफ मेथड्स आर मोर सुइटेबल टू कलेक्ट एंड एनालाइज द एविडेंस नीडेड व्हाइल रिसर्च डिजाइन फोकस ऑन व्हाट टाइप ऑफ स्टडी इज प्लान एंड व्हाट काइंड ऑफ रिजल्ट्स आर एक्सपेक्टेड फ्रॉम द रिसर्च अब रिसर्च मेथड ने कहां फोकस किया वो सारे मेथड्स जो सुइटेबल रहेगा डाटा को कलेक्ट और एनालिसिस करने के लिए एविडेंस को कलेक्ट एनालिसिस करने के लिए वेल रिसर्च डिजाइन ने कहा फोकस किया कि क्या क्या आप स्टाडी किस टाइप का स्टाडी कंडक्ट कर रहे हो और किस टाइप का रिजल्ट आप एक्सपेक्ट कर रहे हो राइट दैट व्हाट एक्चुअल रिसर्च डिजाइन फोकस देन रिसर्च मेथड टोटली डिपेंड्स ऑन द रिसर्च डिजाइन क्यों क्योंकि रिसर्च डिजाइन पूरा आउटलाइन है उसके अंदर उस पार्टिकुलर आउटलाइन के अंदर ही सारे रिसर्च करना है ठीक है बट रिसर्च डिजाइन किसके ऊपर डिपेंड करता है इट इज बेस्ड ऑन द रिसर्च क्वेश्चंस ऑफ प्रॉब्लम ठीक है जो रिसर्च क्वेश्चन सामने लिया उसी के ऊपर ही पूरा रिसर्च डिजाइन डिपेंड करेगा तो आज के लिए इतना ही आई होप दैट वट एवर दिंग्स वी हैव डिस्कस टूडे इज क्लियर टू यू नाउ लेट मी कम टू द क्वेश्चन of today's uh, lecture and today's lecture question is that first you will tell me what are the characteristics of a good research design okay next question is that tell uh, state the differences between research method and research design i hope this is this questions are clear to you so without wasting time try to attempt the questions answer them before uh within 2 hours of this lectures we and and it okay we'll meet in the next lecture till then take care bye bye bye, -bye.